welcome everybody to True Heart 3. This is going to be a guide video to the game. Let's get started. If you're new to the game, highly recommend you going over the tutorial. Combat offense, looking up or down can allow you to hit the head or body if you don't know already. So if you look up, I'll show you that in a moment. But jab, the weakest, fastest, common attack, straight, a nice combo, a punch paired with a jab, hooks. Powerful punches thrown from the left or right, uppercut, the strongest punch always hit in the head. So those are the different types of punches that we've got. You can also block as you can see, or your body. Weaving is directional with ducking, giving them chances for counters. So yeah, that combat, we now got progression. As you can see, check out guys. You can just go over that, pause the video if you want, you can get money in the game as well, pretty cool. And we've also got money, but that button's not working, but let's get stuck right in guys, by showing you the game. So once you do start, you can choose middleweight, lightweight or heavyweight, I'm going to choose lightweight. I'm going to be a brawler, there we go, you can choose any of these, just choose which one's best for you guys. I'm gonna be, so the infighter is close range, this one is going to be a tactical fighter, so you can just go through these guys, I'm more of a close range one, so I'm gonna put an infighter, and there we go guys, we are now in the game. So as you can obviously see guys, this is a boxing game, and this is what it's like, look at that, so the controls are at the right guys, so the controls that we got are jab, and then we got straight. So you can combo that by doing jab straight and like that. What else we've got is a uppercut. So you can do uppercut. If you want to do a combo, you can do left hook. So you can left hook like this. There we go. Left hook like that. We also got head block by pressing F. You can dash by pressing Q. You can also do a body block by holding G. And you can do a weave by doing that. As you can see when I weave in by pressing control. And you can look up. And so if you want a body if you want a body punch, look down. Look, you see, you can control where you want to punch. Body, head. Body, head, hook. So pretty much just like that guys. So make sure you look at the controls. You can really gotta understand the controls. So the gym is where you can actually fight people, as you can see. You can also get money in the game. There's also training locations in the game, which I'm going to be showing you in a moment. But let me show you guys how to fight, if you don't know already. The doctor is where you can heal your injuries. So if you've got injuries, you can actually heal at the doctor. It will cost you money, though. Alright guys, so we're now in a 1v1, my opponent outweighs me, so we're probably going to die, let's see if we can actually beat him in a fight, I'm definitely going to lose first, let's see if or... so let's dash and let's start punching, so there we go, try aim for the head and make sure you're always blocking like that, as you can see, pretty much like fighting, make sure guys, when he's blocking his head, try aim for the body, just try fight where he's not blocking, he's not blocking his head, I got him there, as you can see, I'll speed up the video, and we should win, is what's making me win here, I'm not gonna lie guys, and blocking my head, come on, this guy's gonna get knocked out, there we go, look how close it is guys, we should be able to win this, okay, one more hit, and this guy's dead, there we go, it's literally one hit guys, I'm not even joking, there we go, we should be able to win this, come on, and did we win? No, look how close it was guys, we definitely should have won that. So yeah, just make sure you're concentrating on weaving, blocking, and when you can, just literally spam as many moves as you can. So yeah, that guy actually won. Let's see if we've got any injuries. We should have quite a lot of injuries now, if I'm going to be honest with you. But yeah, you can also re-roll your trait, you can also re-roll your nationality and your height. By doing that, you'll become more overpowered. You can re-roll a ton of different stuff. There's traits in the game. I highly recommend you getting a legendary trait. As you can see, you get rolls by progressing through the game. So yeah, just go to different areas around the map, completing different types of quests. By completing quests, you'll be getting a ton of different stuff. 
And yeah, the end of the day guys, as you can obviously see, we do come to the construction area, there's trainers here, there's also serious rings, pretty much all you do in this game is fight people, become more overpowered, and yeah, just make sure you go around the map and complete your quest, because that is how you become more overpowered. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out.